okay so good day so we will have our uh, seventh example uh, for basic operations with four systems okay so this is our question and this is the figure okay so the three forces h of magnitude f are applied to the crate determine f so that the three forces are equivalent to a single force 60, 600 pound force so this is the box uh, the, um, uh, this is the crate I mean and then these are the three forces of both uh, magnitude uh, F or 600 pounds uh, separated by 25 degrees and 45 degrees okay so, uh, so without further ado let's go to the solution Okay, so same with the previous question. So I just copied the question and then um, the figure. Okay, so here, uh, as you can see that from Y and X component, it's difficult. Okay, so we cannot uh, find uh, how these three apps will have its component uh, will have its x and y components respectively. So what we do is uh, we align one of the forces uh, with two x axis. Okay, so from here, instead of using this, so I use this. So this is the x prime axis and the y prime axis. So this x prime axis is parallel to this um, lowermost force. Okay, so why do we need this? So that uh, we can base... Uh, we can uh, figure out what is the x bar component of this f, the x bar component of this uh, force, and uh, x bar component of this force. Okay, so please remember that uh, in any way, even if you rotate the forces, uh, any type of forces, the resultant will still be the same. So this is how the solution. Okay, so let us rotate the axis from x to x bar and y to y bar okay so this is uh, the traditional x and y axis here so instead of using that we will use this uh, where y bar is parallel to the top most f force okay so here okay so i may correct myself so i should this y bar should be realigned with the top most force f not the lowest okay so from this we can rotate this as uh, at this component. So the 25, there is 25 degrees, 45 degrees, and 20 degrees respectively. Okay, so why 20 degrees? So this should this supposed to be the x-axis, and the y-axis should be here, on the y-bar. So this y-bar is parallel to this f. Okay, so you can choose any of the three. So I choose the, the topmost. Okay, so... Where, what what wherever uh, whatever force you choose that will be parallel to y bar or x bar respectively you you should uh, get the same answer okay so here so from 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 this uh, we can already add all the components okay so we can get the components of all of these three f so we have our x y bar is uh, f cosine 20 degrees and then cosine 65 45 plus 20 so of this f and this f so this uh, upward most f has no x components since it is vertical okay so we have 1.36231083F and then RY bar is F sine 20 and F plus F sine 65, okay, 20, then 65 since 20 plus 40 and then uh, F since it is vertical, so we will add it directly. So we got RX bar is 1.362F and RY bar is 2.248F, okay? So I just complete the nine decimal place to be more accurate so r is equivalent to the square root of rx bar and ry bar squared respectively so we get r is equal to 
8853252F. So, therefore, your F is 228.236 pounds. Okay? So, this is um, the question. And then, the, the question and the um, figure. And then, the y, uh, the figure. And then, the axis, y bar and x bar. The y bar is parallel to the topmost force. And then, this is the solution. Okay. So, it's easy.